Hi, I'm Daniel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use virtual plane coordinates inside Unreal Engine's materials. So, basically, here I have this checker inside my sphere, but the truth is that the checker doesn't exist. The sphere is not even transparent. So, this method, this node, is going to let you make a plane inside the mesh with own UVs so you can project any kind of the texture on it. For example, here I have this water dispenser with the water tank and the water inside, even with own normals. But the truth is that there is no geometry at all and the barrel is not transparent. So this example I'm gonna show you in the next video. Here we are in the Unreal Engine Material Editor. You can see that the blend mode is opaque, so there is no translucency at all. And here is our node, Virtual Plane Coordinates. It has three outputs and four inputs. So let's start with the inputs. First input is a plane normal axis, it's telling our plane which direction should it face. Now it's 0, 0, 1 and it's facing the Z axis. You can change it to 0, 1, 0 and it's gonna face the positive Y axis. But let's keep it at Z. And now the plane X axis is basically a forward vector of our plane. Right now it's 1, 0, 0. But there is a very important thing that the plane X axis never can be the same as the plane normal axis and also both of those values should be normalized. So let's add a normalized node to both of them and now we can use the plane X axis to rotate our plane. So if I add 1 to Y it's gonna rotate by 45 degrees. The third input is a plane center. It's a position of our plane in the world. I'm using the object position, so it's always with my object, at the, um, the origin point of my object. And the last input is a UV scale. The default value is 1, so it's like this. We can scale it up or down, but we can also do it later, so for now I'm gonna skip this one. The outputs are very simple. The first one is a UVs. So if I preview this one, here you can see the UVs of our plane. So that's why we can project any type of the texture on it. The second and third one are very similar. So let's go there. And here I have a little description. So the uh, second one is a position of each pixel of a plane in a world space. And the third one is a position of each pixel of a plane in an object space. So let's see the difference. Let's plug it to the base color and go to the 0, 0, 0 uh, position of my world. And now if I move the object and the plane, you can see that the origin doesn't move. So now each pixel has the value uh, of the position related to the 0, 0, 0 of the world. And if I change it to the third input uh, output, now each pixel has the value of the position related to the origin point of the plane. So it's gonna move with my object. Okay, but what can I do with the virtual plane? So here I'm making the sphere mask. To make the sphere mask, I'm taking the object local bounds of only one channel, multiplying, but, but multiplying it by half, so it's gonna give me the radius of my object, and I'm using it as a radius for the sphere mask, with the zero offset in B, and for the A, I'm using the virtual plane word position centered because I want my sphere mask to move along with the object. Okay, let's talk about this part. So before we start, let's change the texture to something else, like the green guy. And also let's plug RGB to base color. Now you can see that the UVs are repeating. So that's why I'm lerping it with the sphere mask. And let's plug RGB. And here I'm calculating my UV size. So the value of one will be exactly the same as the extents of my object. So I'm taking the my own parameter, I'm dividing it by the extents, and then I'm multiplying it by the UVs from the virtual plane. And after that, the last thing you need to do is to add a half offset because without it, it's gonna be shifted to the sides. With this offset, it's gonna be 
just in the middle of our object with the exactly the same size as the object itself. So you can scale it as we want. Last thing we can do is to create own normals for our plane. So before that, I change the roughness and specular to zero and one so we can see one issue easier. Uh, okay, uh, I'm taking the vector of zero zero one in tangent space because the normal is by default in tangent space and lerping it based on the sphere mask with the another vector 001 but this one is transformed from the word space to tangent space. And if we go to the viewport and to the buffer visualization and the word normal, now you can see we have all normal for our plane. But the issue here is uh, the roughness doesn't look right because of the normal that uh, plane normal does it, that is on top of our sphere the thing that we can do is to blend our uh, flat normal with the sphere normals so it's gonna look more like a plane inside the ball so let's do this it's very simple all we need to do is just to add one more lerp between the uh, word space normal and the tangent space normal if we do that, our normal, now we can see like a, a reflection on the curvature of our ball. And the normal looks like this. You see, the normal is still inside, but it's also take a little from the outside. In my opinion, that looks better. And that's all about virtual plane coordinates. So. Next time, we're gonna break down this water dispenser. As you can see, it's a little more complicated, but I'm trying to keep my effects as simple as possible, so it's easy to learn. And I will be very grateful for every like, comment and subscription. So, see you next time.